Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ilyas, and this is your 48th or 47th. This is 47th tutorial, and uh, I hope you guys liked the previous ones where we did this Ajax request and stuff. So, and this Ajax request we, we made in the previous tutorial is actually an awesome thing because, well, this is how pretty much Ajax works. You send some things to the server, and you get some data in return. And I mean, this we send this login and the password and we get this data in return and for now we send this welcome message or just a message call uh, whoever say just run login and uh, you know we can also send um, scripts to the, to the page but well it's kinda tricky but right now let's just send also an HTML code uh, from the server so it, it won't only uh, say welcome user but it also it will also display a message like this is a member area or something so I'll add a break here and like h1 HTML element saying welcome to the mem members members area so this is the message uh, which will come from the server and now let's see how we display this message so first let's check if if it is not a wrong login. So if data if data is not equal to wrong login, we can uh, actually already hide this login box. So login box dot fade out. And what else? And we can grab this container which we have here select it and set its HTML property to the data which comes from the server and now let's see what's gonna what's gonna happen um, by the way if it is a run login let's say let's just display this message run like this now let's just go ahead and test it I'll uh, write a wrong data, a wrong login data, and just say sign in, and it says wrong login. And now let's pick a user, a real username, uh, like user one, and her password, female user, and say sign in. And it says welcome user one, welcome to the members area. So now the login is successful. So this is how pretty much you can um, make a simple login thing. But of course, you would never have, as I said, a database stored in this format. And I mean, but I mean, this tutorial is this tutorial's purpose is only to teach you guys the basics of AJAX and how you can send the data and work with the data, and you can figure out what else you do with that. So uh, I, I hope you guys like this tutorial, even though it was kind of a short tutorial. But uh, well. We are almost done with this tutorial set, and when you are done with this tutorial set, you can call yourself a jQuery Pro. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.